We had the luxury of designing everything within my art department. We have an amazing group of people in Stan Winston who then took those designs and turned them into the reality of the 3D guys you see running around. I don't believe in leaning on CG. I love computer-generated enhancement, but I want to build everything practically. The whole point of this film was to feel it. There was a team of about 60 people working back at Stan Winston Studio uh, on all the different variety of these things. So what I've got here is fully working Terminator skull. These are the T1s. Now that we've gotten some paint on them, you can see that they're, we've got the aging and weathering coming about on them. Basically what we're doing is we're swapping back and forth between fogged contact lenses and clear contact lenses just to see which reads better. This is the foam team, and they're, they're running foam rubber. These chemicals, there are many parts that get mixed together in, in a special formula, and they're, they're whipped up. It's almost like a crazy bakery. McG has always been a fan of trying to get as much on screen that's real and live as possible. You know, it helps your actors get more involved, and it gives great onset sensibility. You know, when, when this comes walking in the frame and it's seven foot three, you can sure have quite a reaction to that. I think it's been fun for us because, you know, we get the opportunity to build all this cool stuff. We're doing a little test fitting right now with his underskull. That's the underbase, and then we're going to end up with, with the red LED lights in there, and then we we'll get the skin on here. Okay. So this is actually first test fitting here. Feels great, good purpose. It's gonna be a fun character, this one. Audiences are so sophisticated that I think whatever you can do to make their film going experience more exciting and, and uh, fool them, you know? <laughs> Give them that magic trick that they're coming to see and make it really believable. I think that's what we gotta keep pushing to do. With the Stan Winston guys, you know, just seeing the dedication that people like this have, you know, the, the painstaking detail that they go to, you know, talents that they have, and the patience that they have is incredible. And I love it when you see people who are just obsessed with what they do and they want to, you know, perfect what a T600 really would look like, you know, turning his head and attacking somebody. They take it very, very seriously, and I think that's wonderful.